let us take a discussion further on uh, the information concepts which we started yesterday random events and incomplete information now uh, in uh, in game theory in the extensive form game nature is modeled as player zero right and the random events in the game they are the acts of nature so for example nature is starting here so there's an open circle and nature is deciding something i'll tell you what that something is in the context of the example uh, so so for example nature is deciding the type of player one whether player one is an enemy or player one is a friend that is what nature is deciding right so player one is player one enemy or is player one friend this is what nature is deciding uh, and uh, so Uh, and this decision that whether player one is an enemy or player one is a friend, it is dependent upon some fixed probability distribution. It is not a strategy. Nature is not a strategic player. Uh, it is a fixed probability distribution. So with, with probability half, let's say person can be friend or with probability half person can be a uh, person can be an enemy, right? So we'll just write this. Uh, these points have to be written, although they are not the part of the game, but you should remember these points. So. Please write somewhere. Nature's decisions follow fixed probability distribution. not strategic so meaning that nature is non-strategic right and the node this is the node of nature this is a chance node this is called chance nodes and they are uh, they are shown with an open circle so that you can distinguish it with nodes of the real players right and uh, nature also has no payoff to its action so nature is deciding whether person one can be an enemy or whether person one is a friend. And there is no payoff which nature is getting by doing all this. So nature has no payoff. Nature has no payoff <coughs> to which are attached to its actions. <coughs> So nature is deciding that player one can be a friend with probability P or could be an enemy with probability one minus P like this. Nature is deciding whether player one is, uh, uh, is, uh, can be a friend with probability P or can be an enemy with probability one minus P. Okay. And then player one is deciding, right. Whether to give a, to give a gift to player two. or not to give a gift to player two. Player one is deciding now whether to give. So these are the nodes where player one is deciding, right? These one. So note that these are not the open circles. Or uh, player one is deciding whether to give gift as an enemy to nature to player two or not to give gift to player two as an enemy. Right. Well, if, uh, if player one has not gifted anything to player two, then the game ends here. Neither player one gets any payoff nor player two gets any payoff. Uh, similarly here, if player one is an enemy of player two and he has not gifted anything to player two, neither player one, uh, neither player one is getting any payoff and player two is getting any payoff. You might be thinking that if he's an enemy, why is, why is he gifting to insult him? Sometimes when, uh, 
you think it like this suppose you guys are player 1 and i am player 2 if you give me a very pleasing gift it is helping i mean it is it is giving me happiness so from that gift i will decide whether you are my friend or an enemy but if you give some gift to make a mockery of me to insult me then i will understand that he has gifted me not as a friend but as an enemy so that is the thing but if he, even if you if i am if you are my enemy and you have not gifted anything to me it is not going to give any payoff to you not to not to me so here play here your game is ending so by convention <clears throat> the first payoff is of player 1 and second payoff is of player 2 fair enough okay player 2 comes player 2 has two choices player 2 has two choices whether to accept this thing or or not to accept it whether to accept the gift or reject the gift so if player 1 is the friend of player 2 and player 2 accepts the gift then both player 1 and player 2 will feel happy they both get the pay off of 11 if player 1 is a friend of player 2 and player 2 in player 2 rejects the gift then player 1 will feel bad and player 2 will not get any pay off fair enough <laughs> well player 2 if this guy player 2 is now deciding whether player 1 is an enemy of player 2 and player 2 is deciding whether to accept the gift or to reject the gift right so player 1 being an enemy of player 2 and player 2 accepts the gift player 1 will feel very happy very good you have accepted my gift now you will feel bad and i will feel good and player 2 will feel bad because when he will open up the gift he will find that that gift was meant to insult him player 2 when rejects the gift of an enemy right then player 1 will feel bad oh i was playing his enemy and he rejected my gift how will i insult him so he will feel bad and player 2 will not feel anything like this right player 2 will not feel anything like this <clears throat> you know so you understood the the way it is drawn so one thing you have to understand is that player 2 doesn't know type of player 1 so i am using so these dotted lines between the information sets of player 2 this is telling you that player 2 doesn't know whether player 1 is an enemy or not is an enemy or a friend player 2 doesn't know he will come to know whether player 1 was an enemy or a friend just by opening up the gift right so you know so player 2 these dotted lines they are telling you something player 2 doesn't know player 1 style friend or an enemy what she knows is that uh, what what this uh, uh, so we are taking player 1 and player 2 are males so player 2 knows that he is going to accept or reject the gift only by opening up the gift he will come to know that um, okay this guy was my friend or not beforehand he doesn't know right uh, so there is a general probability that uh, player 1 can be a friend or an enemy what player 2 just knows is that the gift is being offered that's it Uh, player 2 just knows player 2 only knows whether a gift was offered and the general probability
मे बी योर फ्रेंड और एन एनिमी सो यू कैन सी ना वेन प्लेयर टू डजेंट नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट प्लेयर वन सो दिस दिस गेम इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग इनकम्प्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन सो दिस वेरी फैक्ट एट प्लेयर टू डजेंट नो द टाइप ऑफ प्लेयर वन दिस इज टेलिंग यू इनकम्प्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन This telling you, player. Uh, this telling you that there is incomplete information as player two is lacking. Uh, this thing. Uh, player one has a private information. Player one has a private information that player one knows whether player one is a friend or an enemy. Uh, Player one has a private information. Private information, as in player one knows whether player one is an enemy of of player two or or a friend of player two, right? But player two only knows the probability. Uh, player two only knows that player one can be a friend with certain probability, and or player one can be a can be an enemy with certain probability. And player two's payoff. depends on on player one's private information and not just his choice With me, so this is just the basic structure of the game. How do you solve this game, right? So uh, we'll talk about the beliefs of the players uh, about the types being observed or not. So that I'm going to take up in the next class. So it is just telling you how the game is structured. So we'll try to solve this game, and we will take up uh, uh, Bayesian reasoning how to solve this game. So uh, that I'll take up in the next class. So I hope it was useful to you. Thank you, Vita.